Hey guys, how's it going? Cheers back again with another episode of the My Player series here on Xbox One. This is episode number 26, I think, coming to you on Saturday. Now, as you can see, in the previous set of four match objectives, we achieved three times what they wanted from us from goals, and unfortunately didn't beat the, the average match rating or the goal to shot conversion percentage so unfortunately we uh, we aren't necessarily doing as well as we could be in some fronts but still we're bagging goals which is the main thing when it comes to a striker playing at a club like Sheffield United for League One needing to progress up the table so today's two games are going to be at home against Colchester and away against Carlisle United they want an average rating of 9 which I think is a bit unrealistic 4 goals is higher than they've set to us previously so it's definitely got a lot to do and to maintain the goal conversion rate of 60% I think these are starting to get a little bit uh, unrealistic and out of hand, to be completely honest. But uh, we'll try our best anyway. But of course, yesterday there was an AC Milan career mode video, uh, the start of season two, in fact. So uh, check that out if you missed it. There was a sticker book, World Cup sticker book collection video last night. There'll be another one of those tonight as well. So do stay tuned to your sub boxes this evening to make sure you're uh, you're ready for that when it comes to you. But uh, of course, Sheffield United at home against Colchester today. We're doing well in the league. Hopefully, we can pick up some goals. We need to pick up some goals, not only for the team but for ourselves as well for those match objectives. So. Uh, Hopefully we can do that today. And let's jump into this first game against Colchester. It's in the dry by the looks of things, at least, which is good. We've had a couple of games in the rain recently. And I, you may be aware, you may not be aware, I do not perform in the rain. But as you can see, we're still sat second in the league. Four points clear of Coventry with a game in hand. Our fate is in our own hands right now. Of course, there are two automatic promotion spots in League One. And then, of course, you've got four playoff spots underneath that. But if we can finish top two behind Wolves, maybe even ahead of Wolves, depending on... How how the end of the season goes then that would be a very very successful loan spell here at Sheffield United of course we are only on loan from Chelsea so what is going to happen in the second season is completely up to Jose Mourinho he may play us at Chelsea and he may not he may want us to go out on loan we may even be sold but we're going to get a chance to break away here we'll do a st cheeky step over we'll try and find my man on the wing and I haven't been able to it's a poor pass can we get it back we can can we create anything Potentially, there's Billy Painter. He's found me again. I'm going to try and use my man McGinn, who is trying to work something going. Some keep that in. I haven't been able to. Send me. Right, we're through down this left hand side. What can we create? We've got Ulafemi chasing me down. Jeeps, he's rapid. We managed to get the cross in. Billy Painter's on the header. Oh, we picked up an assist in the opening 13 minutes. 12.27 on the clock. We've unlocked the bicycle kick trait. Oh, that is going to be fantastic. I am definitely turning that on as soon as we get out of this game. I thought Olafemi was going to beat me to that, but he's managed to. Uh, we've just about managed to hold him off, whip the ball in. That's a great header. He's passed the near post. He's managed to just get enough on it to flick it into that uh, top right-hand corner. That is a great header, Billy. We're 1-0 up. Harris always looks to find me in the middle. We'll try and find Billy and then maybe make a run off him. Can he find me? He's doing something. He has found me. Maybe we'll try 1-2. Oh, we've tried the one-two. Can I get that? I can't. It's dropped to begin, though. Has the shot, and it's just wide of that near post. Close to 2 nil there in the opening 20 minutes. We're creating chances in this one. Who knows what the scoreline is going to be at the end of 90 minutes here. It could be anything, the way we started this game. Working the ball around nicely here. It's found its way out to McGinn on the far side. A couple of men on him, but we'll give him the option. He can't quite find me. I'm going to get myself into the box for the cross that will undoubtedly come and we'll pick up another corner coming up towards half time then 40 minutes on the clock we almost got to the header in the last corner but Billy Payne is going to win this one what a header oh my days right into the top corner from 18 yards are you kidding me that is fantastic Billy Payne has been pretty average to be completely honest for the past month or two in game and wow that is an absolutely Storming header, 15, 16 yards out. Man on the post really should do better, you have to say, Olafemi. But that is a great header. Keeps went up. Olafemi perhaps just isn't quite tall enough. Not really had the best of angles from any of the replays, but yeah, he's not quite tall enough, lol. We'll take a 2 0 lead then into half time, probably. What can he create here? Can we Billy's in. Can Billy get a hat trick? I'm going to tell him to have a shot. Oh, it just got away from him. That ball hasn't been cleared very well, though. That was a dangerous knockdown as well. It's going to come to us on the edge of the box. Now, what can we do? We can hold the man off. We can have a shot. We can almost find the bottom corner. That was so close. I really wanted that just to sneak inside the post, but it just curved away. I cut across the ball. You can see it's spinning away from goal rather than in towards the post. And we stay at 2-0. Is he going to find Billy? He has found Billy Painter, who's kept going here. Can he stand it up? Can he do... Cross it, just cross it boys. Cross comes in, it's aimed towards us, we're up with a header. 
Oh, the goalkeeper is able to pluck it out of the air. I thought we were going to get ourselves a goal there, make it 3-0, but Walker has other ideas. There's a man there, Chibangu, just on the pitch. Brings it down, finish shot! Just flashes over the top of the bar. We've had chances to score ourselves in this game. We could have had a hat-trick of our own, let alone Billy Payne on, uh, on a hat-trick himself. I just couldn't quite keep that down. Murphy's got Harris on the overlap, although Bean is tracking back. What's it got? Oh, it's going to go in! It's going to go in! Go on! Oh, I can't quite make it 3-0 after the final whistle goes. The ball doesn't quite reach the goal line, but we are going to take all three points from this one. A nice 2-0 win thanks to two headed goals from Billy Painter, picking up an assist ourselves. I think Billy Painter will have got man of the match regardless of uh, our rating, but two shots on target, two shots off for us. Our pass accuracy was pretty poor actually in that one. Quite surprised considering we picked up an assist. I didn't feel like my passing was that bad, but a 7.5 overall. We will definitely take that. It's another three points in the league. Now, let's go and put on that overhead kick, over, uh, uh, overhead kick trait. Right, now what do we take off for overhead kick trait? Early outside the foot shot, early crosser perhaps? I don't really use the skilled dribbling, so I'll take that off. And let's have second wind, early crosser, finesse shot, outside the foot shot, and overhead kick trait done. Oh great, I was just about to start the opening piece for this for this game and then saw that it was raining and it's kind of dampened my enthusiasm for it to be completely honest. But we're away at Carlisle, as you can see, we still have that game in hand, we're still four points clear of Coventry and we are eight points behind Wolves. So if we can win this, we'll potentially move just five points behind Wolves with ten games to go. It's all to play for in League One right now. Hopefully we can get ourselves promotion but it's a case of can we achieve that title as well they could be in here great block by Chris Maguire I wasn't really concentrating on that move so I didn't think anything was going to come of it but it took a great defensive block from the centre back there to stop Carlisle from going 1-0 up we haven't got rid of the ball yet I'm just going to tell him to hoof it he hasn't done although we are going to find the ball at our feet I'll hold my, my, my man off Jefferson plays in Murphy down the outside. Oh, great tackle from Symington. And Pascal Chimbonda races away. That is a blast from the past, if you remember Pascal Chimbonda from his Premier League days at Blackburn Rovers. Jeeps. That was a while ago now. But it looks as if we're going to be able to clear it. And I kind of make a run in behind. I can. But my first touch isn't the best. But Pascal Chimbonda has made the mistake. Now, I'm going to pull it back to my man on the edge of the box. Murphy takes the first touch, takes the shot, and it flashes wide. That's the uh, probably the best chance of the half so far as we head into first half stoppage time. Looks like we're going to take a 0-0 uh, nil -nil draw into the break. He did well to find the space on the edge of the box, but unfortunately the, uh, the finish just wasn't quite as, uh, as good as the chance could have been. So nice ball by Chibangu, we've made the run. Can we get a weak foot goal perhaps? Decent strike on our left foot, but Dean Bazanis makes the save. We will pick up a corner. 55 minutes gone on the clock. Wasn't the best of strikes to be fair. Tried to cut it back across. Couldn't quite get enough of an angle on it to get it away from the goalkeeper into the back of the net. Billy Painter has come on for Jefferson early on in the second half here. Can we get up? We have done, we've hit the bar. Can we get a follow up? Who's that on the header? I don't know who it is. I think it's his centre back. Collins or Maguire perhaps, but... It doesn't matter who is on the end of the ball, so long as it ends up in the back of the net. He's huge, by the way. How big is that player? I don't know, I don't know who it is. Great header from us to start off with. Back off the bar. Great reactions from my man to, to get the ball into the back of the net. Who is it? I still don't know who that was, to be completely honest. He's absolutely huge. Great power on the header. Down into the ground. Textbook. They teach you, don't they? If you get the chance with your head, power it down into the ground. It makes it hard for the goalkeeper to react. Let's put it into the back of the net. And can you tell I'm kind of stalling just to try and find out who it was? I think it was Collins. It was Collins. GG Collins. Two goals in Football League. One so far this season. One of them has put us 1-0 up away here at Carlisle. Now can he get a cross in? He's got a cross in of sorts. Lynch knocks it down for Noble. They've got a man coming on the far side. It's Chantler. Chantler with the chance. Although he's decided to turn away from goal. It's kind of killed the move. Although he might still get a chance. A goal here. Into Noble. Great strike. And it's a good save from Long. And it's going to go out for a corner. Now, Amu's come on for Simington. Now, Amu has a little bit of pace as far as I can remember. From uh, seeing him play and seeing his stats, etc. But Long's down to save well again for the second time in quick succession. Hopefully, we can uh, we can survive here and maintain our 1-0 lead. I've managed to flick it on to Billy Painter, who's just got the worst first touch I've uh, I've ever seen. They could be in here. 
My man's got the pace on the defender. That turn over down the right hand side. Rips the ball in. Man's onside. He's offside. They find the ball into the back of the net. Back of the net. Get themselves an equaliser. Just. He's just half a yard off. That is so close. Great spot by the linesman. And that's saved our lead so far. We're making a change. Both teams making a change. Is he going to tell me who's coming on? Because I don't recognise him. It's not. 14 for 16. It's Chibangu going off and it's McGinn coming on. Hopefully we can hold out then in this last 10 minutes and then make sure we can come out with the victory in this one as well. No, he's tried to take it all on his own. Back to the goalkeeper. That's a risky pass, but they're going to get it away. And the final whistle is going to go. And we're going to get all three points yet again. So it's a 2-0 win and a 1-0 win in today's episode. Very, very pleased indeed. Let's skip back and see how we're getting on in the league. Again, another poor overall rating. And uh, our shot to... Oh, goals to shot percentage isn't going to be helped by the fact that we haven't scored at all in uh, in this episode but it doesn't matter we're picking up wins as a whole as a team we've already reached our uh, our accomplishments for as the item picks up a Neuer it just flashed up a minute ago saying that he picked up an Ertzil so uh, Rich is doing really well with his pulls at the minute Jeeves but anyway um, I digress we've already managed to uh, to achieve our assists or our objectives for assists and goals this season we're on par with goal percentage but we're going to have to improve in the next few uh, next few games if we want to make sure that we get that we've up, gone up to 76 overall as well and with 10 games remaining we sit seven points behind wolves very very intriguing so if we can win we can go four points behind wolves Really, the title isn't gone yet, boys. We are still in with this out. Ten games to go for us, nine games for everyone around us. You'd have to say, considering we're 13 points clear of Brentford, we're pretty much guaranteed a playoff place now, but we have to, you know, avoid complacency, etc. Because we've got a very, very busy month that, of course, ends with the uh, the Johnson's Paint Trophy game against Notts County. But we'll be back tomorrow with the game against Shrewsbury and against Swindon. So that's going to bring this one to a close, guys. Of course, feel free to set the channel page for anything you may have missed over the past few days. We started, like I said earlier on in the video, the AC Milan career mode season two yesterday. There was a World Cup sticker book episode last night. There'll be another one tonight. So feel free to check that out as well. But that's all for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.